I live here. This is my hometown, Cincinnati, Ohio. Here's my name, Duke Scarati. I come here through the mugger's filth and low life trash that plays the streets of the Men City. I am Carl Sims, karate expert, master of ninjutsu, jujitsu, and Chinese boxing. I studied for 12 years. I am a master and teacher of these art forms. And for what? I can't even use my skills to take out some of those thugs outside. They just sit and wait for some unsuspecting person to walk by. Oh no, get then away from me. They snap on them. And I can't even help because the law doesn't allow me to fight or defend for anyone that needs my help. Because my hands are registered weapons. Man, this gets me so frustrated. I swear, at that very moment up in the cloud kingdom of areas. Thunder, lightning, approach me. King Ines sits in his castle at his throne high and mighty. Yes, Father, step forward, my son. I see you, Lady Lee. You have been leading my sky with your constant bickering. It has been thunderstorming for seven days upon the people of Earth. Now tell me, what is going on? Well, Father, we've been arguing over who will get the sacred cup of Hades. Why do you argue? You will not be receiving that cup for some time. It will take millions of human lifetimes before either of you get it. Yes, Father. For when the time comes, who will have it? My son, we both have great powers. You Vikings have the power to control wind, rain, and whatever falls from the sky. While you, Thunder, have the power to control thunder and lightning. The mighty words of the sky, these powers were given to you by the gods. You both have a responsibility with these powers, and that is to provide proper climate for the earth people. That is your main concern. You shouldn't be even thinking about the cup of Hades. It will be given to one of you by the gods, as it was given to me a long time ago. Besides, that cup is pure concentrated evil. That was the devil's favorite cup. He drank from it many times, and his evil built up around that cup. When the gods set out to destroy the devil, they found him and cornered him in the valley of Arachnid. They attacked he did fled for his life, leaving behind a bag of his possessions. In this bag were a few things, but none more valued than his cup. While searching his bag, Rainus, a warrior from the gods, picked up the devil's coin and cut the cup of Hades. He instantly turned evil and tried to kill another warrior. When I flung him away from her, he vowed to destroy me. And he fled and never was seen again. Seeing this, the god followed up the cup and gave it to me to guard. So its evil couldn't spread throughout the universe. Between the two of you, either of you could control the power of the Hades cup. But I raised you right. After retiring as a warrior for the gods around the time Earth was made, the gods awarded me for my dedication and the battles I fought. They gave me areas and the powers to rule the Earth's skies. They also gave you two powers to help 
seeing that I was alone because of the mysterious disappearance of their mother during the latter years of my life. When the God gave us these powers, they branded our heads with these golden bars to distinguish our abilities and you two as twins. While growing up, Thunder always did his job on time, and you, likely, I had to find and make you do your job. But when you did it, you and your brother did a good job. That's what you should be thinking about. You should be thinking about getting your job done and not about the cup of Haiti. But, if I was to award one of you with the cup right now, my choice would be the most responsible of you, and that would be Zunder. But, what? This is absurd. But my son. No, I deserve the cup. I should have the power. Zunder, you shall pay. Wait, come back. Zunder, don't pick with your brother because he is very frustrated and he could attack you without me knowing. I'll show Zunder. I should have the cup and the power to control the universe. I will kill my brother. That way my father will have no choice but to present me the cup as a guardian. But first, I need to think. I need help to defeat my brother, since we have almost equal abilities. I need someone else to help me overpower Zunder. Someone that's only out to destroy and plunder. Someone that is predator, a stalker, an assassin. Someone that will follow my rule. There is no one with those qualities here. Ah, yes. There are no assassins here. And if you can't find them, make them. I should go to Earth and use these beasts as assassins. I will mold my own killer. Together we shall destroy Zunder. Now Zunder, you shall pay. I must descend to Earth. On Earth, in a remote, savage jungle near the African border. This rainwater will chosen by me, your master, to destroy and plunder everything that stands before you. You now possess increased knowledge and strength and other special powers. I have given you these powers so that together we can defeat my brother. With all your powers combined, you can never defeat me. Where is this brother of yours? I like that attitude. You're rough, mean, and ready to destroy. I should call you Ruin. You all are savage beasts, always ready for action. You should have no fear and no remorse for anything. You are here to kill. You are warriors. 
You I shall call Raz because you are my spy and my messenger. You I shall call Erupt, made from the water. You are a versatile killer. Your body can morph into anything you desire. Your bare hands can crush trucks and destroy buildings. You have massive power. You I shall call Palsy. You are merciless. You are a killer. You are Khan, the killer. Together, you are my army, my five phobias. Now, my killers, you have a job to do. When you finish, I shall let you have this planet and do with it as you please. You can come back and destroy it. And the people who... Back in the fields of the kingdom, Zunder was causing a lightning storm over Detroit when suddenly... Robert, face me! Hey, I'll see you, Pete. I'm out of here. All right, Carl. See you tomorrow. Man, look at her. Man, she's fine. I gotta make it home quick. It looks like bad weather's coming. I better take the shortcut today. Something's not right. I feel strange. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. It seems like... Like someone's following me. I can hear... Carl looked around to face his stalker, but to his surprise, there was no one, except for a lightning ball racing directly at him. He stands in fright, his muscles tighten. Now he's paralyzed from shock to the point where he can't even scream. As the lightning ball approaches, his life flashes before his eyes. He sees his childhood and the rest of his life up to now, his future doesn't look clear. The ball touches down and the light shines on the wall of the tall building. For a few seconds there is no sound. Nothing. There is total darkness. Then he screams a long deep sigh as the ground melted and the electric current raced throughout his body. The ball seared into his skin like millions of little parasites chewing on him from the inside out. As he dug into his melted clothes and ripped into his skin, clawing for the source of pain. He sunk slowly into the melted tar. As he suffered, no one can help him, because his scream rang throughout the city. No one can pinpoint the source. What's that sound? Where are they coming from? Meanwhile, Phobius, finish him! Something must have been hit by my boat. Either I find out or die up here. Right now, all I want is revenge. No! Why not to go get a boss? No, let him go. I see this as the perfect opportunity to see the cup. This way, my father will never know what's going on. We get in, take the cup, and then I will use the power of the cup of hate to overpower him. I will finish off my brother, and then I will become the complete ruler of all the cities. Ha ha ha! Now, let's go to Arius and start my domination. No!
back. Wait, what's going on? That bubbling car. That's where my lightning bolt touched down. But what's that floating in? Fire Aries! There's someone in it. I've got to save him. It may be too late. Oh no! I wonder if he's dead or not. I don't know much about humans. I don't know the difference between a man and a woman. If this is a man, or what's left of one, I bet Father would know what to do. Oh no! Father! I have to warn him about Michael's treachery. But I can't leave him here to die. It's by my own lightning bolt that he is dying from. This would have never happened if I would have been a little more careful. I threw that boat out of pure anger. He can't die because of me. I will make sure that he lives. No matter what it takes, he will live. Now I must warn Father. Father! What is it, my son? Father! Lightning attack! You can to... By heavens! What is going on? Lightning attack me! While I was standing! Who is this? And why is he here? He is a man. He was struck to me by one of our rods. Why did you strike him? Father! I did do it on purpose. I did it because brother attacked me. The five level monstrous creatures and enraged. I blasted him. He threw my blood off course, and when I looked down at Earth, he got struck. Lightning is on the way here, and he's gonna try to kill me and take the cup of Hades. Violence! I told you not to stick with your brother. But, but nothing. You and your brother should not be fighting. Let alone trying to kill each other. But father, he has changed. His whole attitude has changed over the evil. Ever since he touched the cup of Hades, he's... What? Touch the cup? That cup is forbidden! I know, Father. And when did he... About three Earth months ago, and he's been changed ever since. You never told me about this before, and for this you will be punished also. You and your brother will get one Earth year in the morning's field, doing hard labor. But, Father! Out of my sight! What about this Earth man? What about him? What about him? He was injured during our battle. You gotta help me, Father. He's just an innocent bystander. Well, I'll see what I can do. Sit him down on the table. He's hurt bad. I don't know if he'll survive. He's just gotta survive, Father. He doesn't deserve to die like this. I know. The only way to heal him is to cure his wounds and put life back into his body. But I don't know how long he will live after this. His skin is so badly burned and covered with so much raw earth material. But this will cure that. I wonder why his inside was burst away. Why he had only a few burns. How come he just didn't melt all together? The reason why his skin is melting, his inside did, is because of the suction he had surrounding his feet. We call it the Nostra, but I can call it rubber. The Nostra always was in my rod, Sarge. Yes, and that other thing about his body. Why, I don't know what it was, but it contained hair and the hair to wear this body. And hair that I can go inside to burn away the bones of the support system. The face must have burst out of the floor, it could still have been in the muscle. Either way, this blood was subsisted on two So, I shall have to remove.
says he will never breathe again. But father, he won't be human at all. I know, but it's the only way. He'll be partly human, but still have his brain and memory. And what? Father, look! What is like real? Let's <laughs> him quick. Give me your cloak. If we don't stop his body from compacting, it will implode. Here, wrap this around his waist and leg. I'll put this piece on his chest. There's not enough to grab both of his legs. Well, put the cloak around his waist and on his feet, up to his pad. Give me a piece so I can wrap it around his head. I only have a little piece left over, Father. It will have to do. Just in case, I'll put this gold bar around his head. It stopped, Father. Yes, it must have worked. What made his skin tighten up like that, Father? It must have been that unknown mixture of chemicals on his body, and maybe something I did, which caused some sort of chemical reaction. Look, Father, his skin is soaking in the rope, and it looks like it's spilling to his body. I know, but I don't know why it's doing it. It doesn't matter. If he dies, he dies. We can only wait and see what happens. But in the meanwhile, I will go out and find Viking, and the both of you will be getting ready to go to the morning field for your behavior. Man, I'm always taking the heat for that ungrateful brother of mine. Oh no, the cup! I gotta get there to stop my brother. But wait, I just can't leave him here. He'll wake up without a clue of what's going on. He's gotta come with me. Meanwhile, ah yes, the cup. The power of complete and utter universal dominance. The power to control the underworld. And it's all mine. But I can't open it. Let's go, boss. I just saw someone about three corridors down. Cause this was After all this time we spent breaking in, let's get out of here. And then we can unleash the power of the cup. Come on, out the back door. Too late, boss. They're here. He's got to be stopped. I'll find him wherever he is. That will learn you. <laughs> Ruin, come on. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey, come back here. What? Yeah. What is Blazers with that? Yeah. He's waking up. It's about time. on me. Not a scratch. My father and I healed you. You were dead. But that's not important right now. Right now, I must go and stop my brother. What? Not important. What's going on here? Who are you? Come on, follow me. You have no time for that right now. No way, man. Not until I get some answers. Okay. My name is Thunder. You're in the Cloud Kingdom of Arius. Right now, I've got to stop my brother. He's got the cup and he's turning evil with every second. Now, come on. Thunder, what cup? Your brother? Who are you? Come on. If you don't follow me, you'll never find out. Meanwhile, outside the palace. Mas, he's coming. No worry. I have the most destructive weapon in the universe in my hands. Let him come. He'll be destroyed. Who did that? I did. Well, I'll show you. Ah! Destroy him! Leave no trace of his existence! You came back with more? Now you will die! Wow, that guy looks just like you. Is he your brother? But why does he want to destroy you? Now! Hey, are you alright? Get him! 
rap and fight! We're losing, boss. They're destroying us. Rats and pops are just body. They're ruining the series we hurt. Remember, we're still animals. I made you, so you can kill, not be killed. I am no god. I too can bleed. All of a for your country, likely. Destroy them, like I said. Leave no trace of their existence. I must get the cup. Hey, watch it back there. Um, the boss? Whatever your name is. Uh, Thunder? Your event is fast. And I have a crumbling penny. All I can think of is wiping them out. There's no mercy. Oh. Plus it feels like I'm losing energy. Come on, watch out! He's running out of energy. I hope this works, or he's going to be there again. It's worth? Ah, uh, yes. This feels great. I'm feeling charged. I'm feeling invincible. Ah. Uh. Iniquitous rogues! Punishment is your only reward. So the morning spill with the both of you. Father! Phobius! Vanish from here! Back to her! Destroy it, I get it further known. Now, go! No! That's it, that's Coward! Away with you! You learn your lesson. Come on, you must stop them! Call my name and I will recharge him whenever. Now make me retrieve the cup. Bring it back to my father. Tell them. What happened here? I need to know. The Pyrophobias took that cup, and I gotta stop them. I'm glad to see that you're alive. It was Thunder and I that healed you. I don't know exactly what's going on, but yes, you must stop them. I tried to stop them but they're protected from me by the power of the cup. You have your mission now. Go! And if you ever need to come back here, just call my name, day or night. Because, to me, day and night only means a change in the shade of my cloak. I control the sky's color. It changes with the colors of my cloak and my mood at that time. Wait. What's your name? King Inus. Now go and retrieve the cup. Wait a minute. Why'd you send Thunder and his brother away? Because they shouldn't be fighting, let alone trying to kill one another. You were struck by one of Thunder's lightning bolts earlier when they fought. 
sins underwent down and rescued you and brought you back here. None of this would have ever happened if they weren't fighting in the first place. That cup plays a vital role in the existence of every living organism in the universe. Its importance is way too much to explain right now. Anyway, remember what Zunder said. Call him if you need help recharging to fight those devil monsters. Now go! Until we meet again. down with this car. No, I didn't. But that's not what I wanted to do. them get away? No. It's best if I let them go. Because I'm hurting too. There's always another day. Oh. I'm a hero now. I saved the city and all those people. All these new powers I have. I can fly and I can run super fast and my reactions are even faster than I could have ever imagined. Plus I can blast people with lightning bolts from my hands. And that's probably not all I can do. I wonder what's next. Who else will I have to fight to get to the cup? And what happened to Thunder and his brother? Where did the wolf take off with the cup? Man, why did all this have to happen to me? Anyway, what, what makes that cup so important? And where can I find it? I don't know. But I do know that if they unleash the power of the cup, it could be a catastrophe. That's why I gotta stop them. This is my chance to protect the Earth and the rest of the universe, and that's just what I'll do.